What's up everybody? It's me, your boy, RJ. Today, we're doing an oil change on new to me Ferris FW45, 48 inch Kawasaki FX651B, 20.5 horsepower. But you know what? It's almost the exact same as the Vanguard's on my 52 and 48 FW35s. Uh, you're like, well, I'm going to get a new one. Hydra went down on one. I rebuilt it. It was like stupid still. I think it just didn't get the gauge. Send in the shop like, hey, let them figure it out. I told them if you have to, just put a new hydro because I'm tired of it because those old hydros broke all the time, if y'all know, because they get overheated. So they put this on there to cool the hydraulics. This is a radiator core, you know. Cool it. Cool it. The fluid from the hydros comes up, 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 gets through there, cooled from this engine right here. Boom, boom. It's got a fan. I don't know how much it works. I just bought it. It's got a eight hours on it 7.9 nope eight now oh yeah i'm just starting it and turning it to move it so eight even uh supposed to do 10 first 10 hours uh so here we go we're gonna get on it you are gonna need a kawasaki 49065-0721 i will put a link below it replaces the 49065-7007 i'll put a link below for amazon uh 78 dollars you said for 12 for six six so they come out at $12 each, which is cheaper than you can get them locally or even online right with this. Uh, you could probably find a cross-reference, but this is under warranty, so we're going with the Kawasaki's. Um, when it gets out of warranty, then we'll start looking for pure later or whatever to put them on there, okay? So, yeah, if you need them, I'm that way. It'll help me, help you, help me. Okay. We're back on? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, some roll by music. You can't have that. Uh, forgot where I'm at. Help me, help it was you, under, help me. It was under warranty. Under warranty, with which I said that, yeah. yeah. Um, same system. You're going to want a strap, rubber strap, or one of those clamp styles. Sometimes you can get in there, sometimes you can't. And you're going to need a little channel. This is a piece of plastic guttering, like this, or shank, uh, siding. And I cut it down to size. The reason I do this is when you remove this, you have to shove this here, because if not, see this all you got is a little drip guard. And then this is a little better than the 20 horsepower Vanguard. There's less room on that one, but it's because it's a bigger engine. There's a little more room here. Uh, so I'm going to shove that in there, but it's still a tight fit. And of course you need tools. We still it up there, so no sand gets in this. I got sand out here from big hydraulic spill from changing the hydro the other day. I would have done a video for y'all, but two mowers broke this week at once. I was like, no, I ain't doing no videos, okay? Life's been busy, okay? Sorry for no new videos. You're gonna need a 5 8 and 11 16 or you can just use like a crescent wrench or something. Okay, so you're gonna wanna take this 11 16 put it on like that. You're gonna take this 5 8 and you're gonna put it like that, the 5 8 and then you just take the two and you go. Squeeze them together. All right, so as you can see, it's on the left side on here, on the uh, Vanguard's, it's on the right. You can always change it to the left. We got a little, like, why am I changing this oil at 10 hours? It's so beautiful still. Look at that. Ooh, it's still warm as you. <laughs> but uh, it's beautiful. But that's why we're doing it. It's the break in because metal shavings and stuff. Next day to go to 10, but eight's fine. We should have got most of them. He said seven to 10 or eight to 10 hours or well, something. Whatever. Is this from that? Was that already here? That was already here. Sure? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's from the, the oil change on this, the Hyundai. The drain plug, mm -hmm. instant compression washer. All right, so we're doing the whole thing. So I believe it says 2.1 quarts because we're doing a filter change. Um, I always do a filter change. I guess you could do oil without filter if you wanted to do it like halfway through. Maybe I'll try that someday, but I'm save a little money. I get like 70 hours, see what happens. Um, is it in this one? Yeah. Okay, oil, we're gonna go through this book real quick. It's gonna say somewhere right here, oil. And it will pass 2.1 US quarts when oil filter is removed. That's what we're using. The 651, the 691, or the 730V. Because they're all the same engine and they just bore them out or put different things or even sometimes just turn the governor up to get more power. Y'all you know, think I'm joking. I've replaced parts on engines that are like Kawasaki FH480 and F520. One's a 13, one's a 15, and they're the exact same parts everywhere. All right. So what we're going to change today is to 20W50, which is the hydro, because it is for hot weather, and we have been getting hundreds. 
So the only ones that are really rated for that are 40. 30 weight isn't even like the hot weather step. And 10W40, okay, is over it. But look at the 20W50 is from 32 degrees to 110, I guess they're saying, because it's past it. Um, and I have it here, okay? So we're gonna put some 20W50 in. They recommend the 10W40, but like I said, it's 100 degrees. It's barely over the 100. It's been 100 for weeks. Yeah. Broke some records, so we're gonna go 2050. Okay, bum 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 bum. 30 weight works too. I don't know why they have such a low number. Usually 30 weight's better for hotter weather. And in the winter, you wanna go down like a 10 W30. And if it's real cold, 5 W20, but I never go to that shit. Okay, never. We don't work when it's that cold. We try it, what well, we do when it's leaves, but we yeah. try not to. All right, so that was all I'm doing. I know I'm just rambling. Let's check our well, see how we're doing over here. We're getting there, just about done. So I am going to open up this other boy. So what I do here is I put this channel in, just like I was telling you. Now the problem is on the other ones, they did not have these new hoses. So they're kind of in my way. So, hmm, this is going to be a predicament. The way they set up is you could drain it right under onto the hydro, but you don't want to just drain oil under your hydro. That's a mess. I might have to now cut this one down to a smaller size. Now, I can't. Nope, I got an idea. I have to cut this guy here. All right, y'all. I'm just trying to. I'm sorry. I'm a new first time, so I gotta, you know. Like the first time. Nothing like there we go. We got it. We're gonna push these way over out of the way and it's gonna do it You just have to hold them out of the way while you do this oil change. Okay, see that? Get this under that lip Luckily, like I said, it's a little higher up on the uh, Vanguards. It's right on the bottom down low and tight. So it's gonna be a better thing um, but This problem here. I do not like it see my M. Oh, it's right up on that everything engine What? thing what is it? oh no it's a cover it's like it's just right behind it's your face. there's no room behind okay. it the engine you mean the filter yeah that's why we have the straps yeah or these okay so here's what we're gonna use we're gonna try this guy first just because he's easier watch out this guy's easier i hope i can get in there and get him he's a if not we're gonna roll the strap the strap works always She said, okay, so here's this. Watch this. This is why I like this one. Look, see, this is better than the strap. So, if you can get one of these, these will work for you. You're probably gonna use the strap to tighten it up though, because this sometimes dents the filters. Okay, here's our problem we have to get this in here around that and keep these back. And this is tight and holding it there. So, can you do me a huge favor, boss? Mm -hmm. Can you hold that there? I'll do it to your hands. Okay. You can do it by yourself. Look, you're just gonna have a tight. Oh, you just moved the whole thing. See how these are here? Be careful. I'm gonna need the boss. Can you stick your hand here and hold this? Here, just come around from the other way. Okay. Hey, no, come from behind. Oh. Where you're talking. You got it? Mm -hmm. Hold these like that. With your right hand. Just grab them. Got it? Don't break them. Okay. You're gonna do your best situation you can have to not make a mess. Um, it's still not exactly, what do you, what do you call that? Ideal. Ideal, there you go. Boss is here for word, wordsmanship. Okay, I got that back in there good. And I got it downhill off the trailer gate as I showed you. I don't know if I did point that out. So there you go. And see, and then it goes like this. It's a mess. This one's got all these other parts, so it's going to be a little more difficult. There you go. And lean it like that. As you can see, that oil was barely used. It's still pretty dirty, though. No, some of that's off the gutter. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
out so we got this dripping we can get that new filter which i put up there will you pause it or go get it for me yep. we mostly didn't make a mess here you go 49065-021 okay See oh same filter okay okay we'll okay take some of your old oil Luber, get her all wet just like she likes it doesn't well you got one of them rough and tough styles I don't I can't help you out there okay I'm gonna stand up there switch with me I don't even show them but okay try not to get it too oily because you're gonna have to use that leather that rubber strap which uh, does the thing you might be able to get this by hand Depending on how tired and dexterity you have with your fingers and man grips, you might be able to not get the tool out and wrestle it in. There's at least hand room in here. The other one doesn't have yeah, any. That's what I said. It's a little better than the other one. It is a better setup because it's up higher. The other one is low handed. Yeah. And there was like 70 hoses. Yeah. But these are kind of in the way. I may not need a tool to put it back on, you know. You might be able to get it. It's uh, Be careful, though, because you do this when your engine's warm. That's burning the crud out of it. How that burns. Right, a few more little rubbing tugs real quick. Durka durka. Ooga doogas, there you go. Sorry. I was thinking Thunderbirds. Ooga dooga. Get my hand. Alright, so that bad boy is on there. We are still lightly dripping here, but it's the first one. And it was super clean. So I don't think it's as important to drain it all out all the way today. You can. You want to sit there all day. Uh, make sure you clean this off. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not going to back feed up into the system. Try not to have any dirt on here. Alright. Get the fingers in there very good. Loosen her up. 11 16 is the back bolt. Bites 8 is the front. Actual like bolt and the other part's kind of a nut. Like a nut flange fitting. Male, female, whatever you want to say. Okay, that's good. Uh, fill, you tuck fill. it back into the thing. What? Do you tuck it? Oh yeah, it was. It was a tuck-in spot for this to protect it. Okay, just like that. All right. So we're gonna get my funnels out, and as you can see, this is new. And I just left that on there. I should probably take it off because the engine does get hot. All right. Air index engine is three, most clean, least clean. So three. The lower air index, less pollution. Then it's certified to be a mission client for the following use. Moderate, I mean, an extended use. Check the owner's manual for further details. But it, I guess three isn't good enough clean. It has to be a zero because California says you can't sell it because they're dirty commies. Um, but, you know. Well, is it, is it California to get all electric equipment? I don't know. They're what? dirty commies. I mean, do I really want to know what they have to have? I mean, yes, you have to watch it because whatever communism level they do eventually makes it to the rest of us, but... They're commies. Can't really even worry about what they're doing because there's so many levels of commie that your brain will just explode. Okay, so what I said was point W50. Yeah. Pause it over right back. Five quarts. So we're gonna take it to the four and to the three. It'll be just about right. It says 2.1, so you hit it and go a little over. You be careful with these. A lot of times, get a nice long, thin tipped funnel. See how my funnel's thin and long? If not, you will not be able to get down in there. Um, that's actually, this is my mower funnel. My other funnels have bigger open mouths, you know, to help fit the girth, but this one just doesn't like it. See, it goes slow, it doesn't overflow. All right. 
not even the four boards yet. It sucks using this funnel. It's the only problem with it. But I've tried. I had one that was longer, but it had too big of an opening on the mouth, and you would fill enough, and then it would. What will happen is it'll overfill here faster than that chute can take it down here. Look. See how this is big, and then goes super small. Same thing there. So what happened is it couldn't fit through the hole, and then it starts backing up, and makes a mess all over your motor. So it's gonna take the time, you know. She appreciates it when you take your time. Don't rush it. It's a little messy when you rush it. Okay, we're at four quarts, so one quart's in. Okay, this is the O'Reilly brand, 2050. You can buy whatever you want. Um, I actually usually buy like Walmart, SuperTech, or any of the other ones, whichever's the cheapest on sale. Um, and Royal King, Royal King. We got farm home, I use their oil a lot because it's cheap and it works fine. This was probably a little expensive, but we needed it the other day for the hydro. How much was this? $23. $23. So, yeah, don't buy the O'Reilly one, okay, y'all? That's crazy price for some generic. Go to Royal King, it'll probably be like $17. The five quarts of the same stuff. Be like, well, I don't have a Royal King. Farm and Home. Portion. Portion's gone. No, they bought them. Farm and Home. Our tractor supply did one of them. One of those places. These will have stuff cheaper because people that make your food and stuff can't be spending that extra crazy price for just a name because then we wouldn't have no food oh wait we ain't gonna hold our gas and no fertilizer so. all right we're slightly under the three quarts i think we're good mm -hmm. all right now um that's it fill it up clean it up anything else no i'll put some links below for the uh oil filters that was the best deal we found and they could get it the quickest was it prime or no no we couldn't find any prime right of cow stock filters mm -mm. but no prime um but buy that maybe i'll get like 20 cents or something help me help you help me okay double check he's clean okay for correct oil level do not turn the cap on threads okay so this is just a set down when you test the oil level i can't really do that because it's at an angle but we'll do it anyway for you yeah see <laughs> Way full. Over full. Let's see them at an angle. Um, what else? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all. Do that. Uh, I'm going to have a video in a few days on changing the ignition coils on a Ferris FW35 with the Bree Strat and Vanguard. Um, I got no spark. I went to a few things. I tested, I tested, and I'm not seeing anything there. Uh, I'm getting signal to it that I could find, but I could wing it sit out, so I think they're toast. Uh, about 900 hours is almost on the machine or so so it's possible that one of them went which is the first one and it's caused the other one not to go or the other but i just bought them both before we do that video hopefully i do that ignition oil change and it does it if not maybe it'll just tell you how to get to them i do have a machine apart so you'll have to watch it as i put it back together it's already apart uh, right there you want to show them in my havener soapy Good SW 2006M. As you'll see, that boy's apart right now. You're like, what's that in the middle? That's from inside the gas tank. Uh, I had to get in there to look for the hose for the fuel line. It's actually from the 48. Yeah, yeah, we took it off there and on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. I'm pretty sure it's some ignition coils. I was getting like spark every once in a while, but real light, light spark. Um, I sanded it down, cleaned them up, nothing. Uh, if it isn't that, it's going to suck because the regulator was getting signal. The voltage regulator was good, everything. I checked the fuse. It was fine. Uh, I switched the safety switches off and they... Uh, cheese cloth. Cheese cloth whenever you're doing stuff like this to cover your air filter housing, guys. It works great. Okay, just so you know. That was my idea. That was the boss's idea. She's always got the genius ideas. I just couldn't work. All right, so we're going to get on that and show you... Uh, I would do it tonight, but I really don't feel it's Friday night. I just got home from work, but I might. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do. Got a new mower. I got to make room, so that bad boy's going somewhere. And I need to clean the garage. We've been just messing, messing, destroying, it. messing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm just rambling on, showing y'all some of my mess of the world. Mm -hmm. That's it. We did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like the machine. Um, 
The nice thing about this over my brake strat is I can turn that down and it doesn't kill the engine on the Vanguards. It dies if it goes too low. Um, fuel wise, I haven't really checked, but I think this uses as much, if not more, than the Vanguard. So that's a little disappointing. Um, it's a little stiff in the steering compared to the other two, but those have 800, 900 hours. That could be entirely it. And I've adjusted them a few times. I haven't this one in reverse. The left one doesn't want to come. I'm going to adjust it and see what that does for me. You know, I'll show you a video on how to do that. I, never, I don't think I've ever shown a video on how to adjust the uh, steering of that. Uh, make sure you keep this clean, y'all. Right here, it's a radiator. You let the shit pile up in there, it's not going to cool anything. So when we'll I get down here, we're going to get the blower not out. Hose it off, but... Yeah, we're going to open up the, the, the pen air, air compressor. compressor and go. All right. In, a, in 100 hours, I'll show you how to do this. I haven't done it yet. This style service, I've done hydros. And I, probably, I don't think I've ever shown you because hydros are usually when I'm stressed and stuff happened and I'm doing them and we're there. I'm going to show you how to do this one too. Okay? So keep checking back on my channel for this stuff, Dodge stuff, dumb stuff, anything you got, I'm there. Okay? What? The other mower? What? Trimmer? Edger? Truck? What about the truck? It was broken. It was broken? I didn't do a video on that. Got bad gas. I'm going to do that to show you how to drain your uh, gas tank without dropping the thing to get out if you get some bad gas and it may fix it before if not you got to do that and maybe change your fuel pump but you need all that fuel out of there so i'll show you how to you do it, catch easy, it early quick, enough. easy quick way to change all your fuel line out mine was immediate i got it boom boom we didn't drive much like less than a mile all right that's it i know i'm rambling please like subscribe every little bit helps this time as always i'm rj see you today each and every day you heard it see you today each and every day bye bye